Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's Bunny. And welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and sex, 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 and sex with coworkers or not. And that's gonna that's the topic today is is banging your coworkers. Yeah. We get this question a lot. Because proximity yeah. ends up you end up banging people that are in your proximity. Yeah. You see these people more so than you even see anyone else. Your girlfriend, your wife, your anything. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. You see her more I mean that's why guys have a work wife. Yeah. You know, and it's a very real thing. Yeah. So, you know, to give let's give the pad answer, you know, right off the top. Yeah. You know, it's we like to stay as concise as possible. When is it? It is acceptable and worth the risk, and super common when you're entry or lower level. Yeah. If you're, if you're, you know, um, a gopher employee, you know, office worker, administrator, just working straight, straight. You know, you're like the lowest hourly wage. Exactly. It's usually one of the biggest hookup. I mean, like fast food. You talk to people that are like in fast food, telemarketing. Yeah. Telemarketing is a hotbed of people hooking up. Yeah. You would never know it. But you get a lot of like um, alpha guys um, that work the phone. Yeah. They're good salesmen. Yeah. And you put them in this big room with other, with chicks and then things happen. I mean, it's like, it's very well known and it's such an odd thing. Um, Car salesmen, you name it. But a lot of it's entry level. Yeah. Yeah. And the second thing is not so much at management or owner level because the risk goes up. Ooh, very risky. One, you know, you're in charge of other people. In some professions, it's like you lose your license. Right. You lose, you lose, you know, the right to do your job. Um, even as a uh, as a counselor, yeah, you lose your license. You can be criminally charged. Absolutely. I um. But what we see and probably what you see most of all, and you don't realize, especially at the corporate level when they're playing corporate games, is somebody doesn't like you. Mm -hmm. And they find out you, who's married, and, you know, let's say another girl that's in in the corporation with you, a co-worker who is married and you're hooking up. Or your assistant. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. Yeah, someone, and then they drop the dime on you. Yeah. That's where most of this comes up, is two consenting adults, and there doesn't even have to be a hierarchy di- dissonance, you know? I right, mean, they right. can be co-workers, um, and everybody's on board, except, of course, the spouses don't know, but they drop the dime, and then they have to let them go. Right. You know? Well, it's because business is, at the very core, a political game. Exactly. So if you can get the leg up on the competition exactly. in any way you can, a lot of times that's what it comes and down that was, to. And that was part of one, a very long article that I read was if somebody wanted to move up into that guy's position, yeah. they would drop the dime and he'd be gone. Yeah. He'd move right up. You oh, know? yeah. Oh, you're yeah. You're eliminating your competition. So it's not even like something that you're doing. It can be simply somebody sees you in the way, mm-hmm. and it'd be like you stealing like office supplies. It's this thing you're doing. You probably should be doing it, you know. But if they can get a leg up on you, they're going to drop a dime on you, right? You know, and that's where you see most of these scandals coming from, especially at the higher levels. But so. that being said, we also we aren't ones who ever say. Suggest you cheat on your no. wife or your spouse no. or your family it, or, you know, I'm, I've am i always been of the mindset, if you're married and you're unhappy in your marriage, then get out of the marriage. I mean, I, and, and the, for, for, you know, we don't, she and I don't agree with everything. And I, I know that people are going to cheat. Yeah. And my, my understanding of the universal rules, and this is a way what you normally see, like in our neighborhood is, um, one, you keep it out of town. Which is another reason why work stuff t- tends yeah, to yeah. go well because there's a lot of travel involved. And you never embarrass the wife. But if you're banging a co-worker, you're going to end up embarrassing the wife. Right. And that violates, you know, one of those two rules. Well, it especially, it especially embarrasses her because inevitably when you get caught and you lose your job. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So then not only can she not live the yeah. life that, that she's been accustomed to. It's also, 
a public embarrassment. Yeah, she has to look at you. It's a loss on every it's level. A lot. So that's that's the real deal. So when you're talking about entry level, mm-hmm. and, and you know, in, industries will change, but bartenders, waitresses, bouncers, I mean, you know, it depends on your industry, but most entry level, it's a hookup culture. Yeah, because a lot of it is don't shit where you eat. You know, if you're seeing this person every day or, you know, frequently or whatever, and you're having to work in pro- close proximity, are you trying to date this person or are you just fucking? I think that a lot, um, I think a good rule of thumb is if you have a sexual chemistry with someone, but you're friendly, you're playful, it's fun, but it's not necessarily, you're not necessarily, um, how would you say, wanting to date them, you guys just have an attraction. An attraction. Yeah. Because I think then... Both parties kind of can come into it kind of like, we're going to fuck and we're just going to have fun. Mm. But they're not expecting anything. I think it gets dangerous when you genuinely are trying to date people that you, then you have to see every... Develop a relationship. Yes. That, that can end up breaking up. Yeah. Interesting. Because you have to... Well, and not to mention, then you have arguments, you have disagreements or whatever, and it affects everything and everyone. It just turns... It tends to turn into a big mess... Like when co-workers it. try to actually date. date. Fascinating. That's a, that's a great approach. But people can fuck. Yeah. Co-workers keep can it fuck. Low-key. And it doesn't really matter if they uh-uh. stop fucking or yeah. one of them gets a, a significant yeah. other or whatever. It, it's just kind of part and of no the course. no one needs to know. Yeah. yeah. I like that. That's good. I think you, that's, you can do that at every level. Yeah. You know. Well... I still think it's a good idea to keep it out of the upper levels. Yeah. If you're the young, I mean, and again, almost, you know, whenever I tweeted a lot of this stuff, they're like, well, I always know that this bar owner or this tanning salon owner or this gym owner. And the thing is, a lot of industries are a little bit more relaxed. True. About, the, you know, they're, like we say in the gym <laughs> business, there is no HR department. Yeah. You know, we have we have fun. It's, it's definitely, you know, well, gym owners, traditionally, let's talk about, like, just, you know, the difference. Uh-huh. You know, trainers tend to hook up a lot yes. together. Yes. Oh, know? yeah. And every, you know, every couple of years, I'll know a gym owner that just could not help himself. Starts banging one of these teenage front desk girls. Right, right. The wife finds out. So now he has no gym. Yeah. And no wife. You yeah. know, I mean... They have to liquidate the whole thing. And a lot of alimony. And a lot of alimony and child support. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No business. So, you know, every situation is unique. Yeah. Um, but some industries are more flexible about that. Yeah. You know, I'm sure like the larger the larger corporations, which I've never been in that world, are more strict, you know, about sure. you know, what, what's going on. Um, but in the smaller businesses, it's more flexible, I think. Right, right. Well, and that's where you have to weigh the any kind of litigation that might come down the pike if you if you yeah. partake in this. Any, yeah. you know, it's a risk reward thing. They're like, what's what's the phrase? Like people turn twenty one every day or eighteen. Yeah. I mean, truly, like there are people coming and going and available options new into your life every single day. So. But it's funny. It's funny because like when guys reach out to me through the DMs about um, should I? Sometimes you can just tell they're just really asking you as a formality. Yeah. They're going to go do this no matter what. Right. You know. I mean, you can just tell. It's like I told you about the last one. I was like, he's going to go do this no matter what I say. Yeah. You can just tell. Yeah. You know. So yeah, that and that probably falls under the. There's so much attraction. Yeah. But you just yeah. it's inevitable. And it does. She, Buddy has a good point. The complications happen when you start getting into a more of a relationship. Yeah. And then you break up and you're looking at each other every day. Yeah. It's Trying bad. to work on a team or whatever. Do projects together. Yeah. She's she's crying and running out of the room. Or just screaming and making your life. Yeah, happen. exactly. I mean, every everything about it. Head. Everything yeah. about it. So just I, weigh the weigh the risks, weigh the rewards, and and weigh what your goals are for it and hers. Yeah. I mean, because there's people, I mean, next to online, I bet more people meet at work than any other method. Well, it's like our kids spend more time 
at school than they do at home. It's yeah. the same kind of thing. That chunk of time, you're at work. Proximity. You're around yeah. these people more than you're around the people at home. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just you you get familiar with people very quickly. True. So that's that's the take. And if you find this interesting, we, we kind of expand out on some of these subjects in our newsletter. We each have one. You, mine is pretty much all all guy stuff. And, then, <laughs> and how would you describe yours, baby? Um, that I choose the best of the best, that I utilize my 20% girl brain and yeah. decipher the red pill truths in a way that helps, hopefully you better understand um, why the stuff that we talk about works. So it's not just what works, it's why it works. Which goes, which is one of the things that we, I think we try to convey to people is, you know, again, just like why, why and when should you take a chance with the dating within your workplace? Uh-huh. There's nuances, but we try to give you the best information that, so you can work with it instead of just going yes or no. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's nuanced, but we try to, the better informed you are, the better the decisions you can make. Well, and, and guys do well with information. So yeah. they want to know, why? should I do this, but why? Exactly. So if you like this, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and comment below. We love to hear your comments. Have a great day. Bye.